I feel the need. The need for speed. Top Gun from 1986 is a prime slice of 80s cheese, from the sappy dialogue to the hyper-alpha male posturing and iconic soundtrack. Don't get me wrong, I love it completely. So the challenge in making a sequel 35 years later is recapturing what we loved about the first, but modernizing it. Top Gun Maverick mostly nails it. Just want to manage the expectations. Tom Cruise, who really doesn't make bad movies, still makes cool seem effortless as Maverick, who gets called back to Top Gun to prepare a new crop of pilots for a dangerous mission. Good morning, aviators. This is your captain speaking. Miles Teller plays Rooster, the son of Goose, Maverick's former right-hand man who died. Rooster has a grudge against Maverick, but maybe not for the reason you would think. My dad believed in you. I'm not gonna make the same mistake. Maverick's love interest this time is played by the ageless Jennifer Connelly. Now her character, Penny Benjamin, is actually a deep cut callback to the first movie. With a history of high speed passes over five air controlled towers and one admiral's daughter. That's one of the callbacks to the original that does work, but there are others that made me roll my eyes. It's a small quibble in what's otherwise a super fun movie. The aerial footage and dogfighting, spectacular. Oh, Top Gun Maverick is probably the best we could have expected from a Top Gun sequel. Is it better than the original? Well, I don't really think that's a fair question because the first is such a product of its time. But for the start of this summer movie season, the bar is set sky high.